Steve Canyon. A salute to the Air Force Men of America. You are about to see a mission flown by the United States Air Force. All information, material, and incidents contained herein are now declassified. Headquarters, 5th Air Force, Fuchu Air Station, Japan. Special Order Number 207, Paragraph 1. Lieutenant Colonel Stevenson B. Canyon, serial number AO041044, will proceed without delay from Karujima Air Base to Langham Air Force Base, reporting upon arrival to commander thereat for approximately five days temporary duty for the purpose of carrying out instructions of Commander 5th Air Force, and upon completion, return this station by order of the commander. Sergeant Malone, one of the passengers. Sergeant Key for our flight engineer. Hi, Key. We've met. Hello, Colonel. My name's Atterbury. Glad to have you aboard. Sergeant Malone, Mr. Atterbury. Oh, yeah. You comfortable up there? Oh, yes. Deluxe accommodations. All the shipment on board? Everything at the payroll for Langham Field, Colonel. How about the passengers? All but one. Hey! Watch the valuables. Colonel, it's me, sir. Magnus, sir. I'm all ready. What's that? Oh, it's just a, just a few personal effects, sir. You gonna set up a little light housekeeping <laughs> in the plane? <laughs> no, it's just a few brigabats. Packrat Bagdasarian, the world's greatest junk dealer. Sir, I mean, what's two or three hundred pounds, more or less? Three hundred? Please, please, I'm talking to the Colonel. Sir, you know what it's like. I'll probably go home. The kid hasn't seen me in a long time. Daddy, Daddy, what'd you bring me? You know, you're probably a family man yourself, right, sir? Okay! Thank you, Colonel. What's 300 pounds, more or less? What's this? That's mine, Colonel. Boy, everybody's loaded. Here we go, Colonel. Last load's in. Touchy, what do you got in you that's so hot? Money. Money? How much money am I sitting on? 762,000 bucks. Whoa, I'm big! We're all set, Colonel. Okay, close the ramp, Sergeant. Right.
190. First time I ever had a colonel give it to me. Eight. <laughs> Forty-four. <laughs> You've been on the islands long, Mr. Atterbury? Two years. Two years? What, are you on a job? Oh, I've been taking pictures. What kind of pictures? Well, I'm a movie maker. I've been making a very special kind of a movie. What kind of special kind of movies? Well, it could sound complicated. It's for the International Geophysical Society. That's complicated. I've been sitting on a mountaintop all by myself for the last two years, taking pictures of sunsets, clouds, eclipses, every kind of natural phenomenon. Sounds important. It could be. All I know is it's the only film of its kind in the whole wide world. 100,000 feet of color film. 100,000 feet? Yes, the last two years of my life and my entire future are in that crate. This is all film? No, not quite. I've got my cameras in there, too. You fellows want to see what I got in my crate? Play your card. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is really a sight for sore eyes. Play your card. No, I want to show you guys this. I want to show you this. you got to see it. Ah, Take that chain off, will you? Give me a crowbar. Come on, come on. You know you're dying to see what I'm going to away in that crate. I got a boy. I got a wife. I don't even show her a picture of the guys in my squad. Because I don't want anybody to dream about my wife but me. I haven't seen a wife and kid for a whole year. I'm gonna make up for her as soon as I get home. You wait and see. Okay, ready? Now, number one. This is for the kid. Huh? Just look at that. <laughs> there you go, and how about this? Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? <laughs> that great. Now, this is for the wife. Okay. How about that? Isn't that something? Little one. They gave me a little one free because I bought the big one. It's a good deal, huh? Now, why oh, do you see this? Now, this is for the wife. This isn't for the kid. You huh? don't say. Isn't that gorgeous? This gorgeous. Pay 300 bucks for this. Look, I know it's not going to look too good on me, but you know what my wife will do for this, don't you? She'll make it look like a million bucks. Colonel, did you ever see Marilyn Monroe? Mm hmm. I got one. <laughs> to worry about this baby will fly as well on three as it will on four transfer the fuel over roger colonel looks like we're not going to be able to transfer the fuel why not engine must have knocked out the transfer system how much time we got about an hour and 50 minutes colonel it'll be longer than that figure out a new eta notify langham of the situation check Langham Radio. Langham Radio. How you doing? I can't raise them, Colonel. Why not? I don't know. Maybe it's the weather. All I get is static. Keep trying. Langham Radio. Langham Radio. Do you read me? Over. Langham Radio. Give them emergency situation. They may be receiving you. Both heading 196. Right. Where are you going, Colonel? I'm about to break some bad news.
short and sweet. The number one engine is out, and we can't transfer the fuel over. We've got about an hour and 45 minutes before we reach land. We may have to ditch. We're going to have to throw the cargo over. You can't, you can't do it, Colonel. I've been a year packing this box. I've been waiting one year to take it home. Colonel, have a heart. If you throw this out, you'll have to throw me with it. All right, we'll unload this first. Open the ramp, Sergeant. Right. up at all. And there are fuel transfer systems out. I make it? Well, maybe. Maybe not. anyone, Colonel. What's our fuel time? Oh, maximum 50 minutes, minimum 40. What was the last weather report? Oh, violent thunder showers and thunderstorms between here and Langham. If the wind is reasonable and we get a decent ceiling, we may get in. And if we don't, we ditch. Plane that size could crimp five or six houses. You six people to a house, we get 50, 60 dead out of this. I need someone to go up. Anything better than playing cards with these bank robbers? Save the score. Hey, let me play your hand, will you? Leave that hand alone. Don't you guys move till I get back. That's an order. We got a big problem. There's a C-130 running short of fuel and his radio's out. There's bad weather between here and his position. I want you to intercept him and lead him in. Check. His radio's out. How do I get him to follow me? Try charm. Well, at this rate, we'll hit the water in about 23 minutes. But according to my figures, we'll have to stay aloft for 32 minutes before we can get to the field. Was fast work. Did you ever throw away $762,000, Sergeant? No, sir. Now's your chance. Come on, Packy, give me a hand. weather. What we need is a bird dog. I'm not ready for this. Take it easy. I just don't think I've lived long enough. Who does? Keith. 
We're not going to make it. Red 2, gear tucked. Roger, Red 2. Heading 304 degrees, normal rate of climb. Red 2 from Billboard. Turn left to 215 degrees. Roger, Billboard. Turning to 215. Now at Angels 11. How long have you been in Kurushima? 18 months. That's how long we know each other. That's right. How come you never told me how beautiful you are? How come you never looked? I don't know. I'm looking now. Billboard from Red 2, breaking out of weather at 11,000. Roger, Red 2. Turn to 265 degrees and level off at 14,000. Reduce your speed to 220 knots and keep your eyes open. Roger, Billboard. At Angels 1-4, turning to 265 degrees. Hold it. Tally ho! I got him! I got him! Stand by! Ever been to Paris? 30, 40 times. What's it like? In the spring it's sensational. Other times it's only great. London, Paris, Rome. When I think, hey! There's your bird dog. Hey, there's my trip to Paris. Smart boy. To the moon, buddy! Does he know what you're there for? He does indeed. Okay, pick up heading 030 and make your rate of descent 700 feet per minute. Red 2, roger. How's his fuel? 15 minutes. He must have been sent to intercept us. If I'm right, they've got us tracked. And if you're wrong, forget Paris. Red 2 from Billboard. This is Red 2. Turn right to zero four five degree heading. Will do. Red two. In about eight seconds, you can turn him onto a long straight in approach. How's his fuel? Well, once he gets below ten minutes, we can't really tell. We're losing too much altitude. What's our fuel situation? Nearly empty. That does it. Sorry, Packy, it's got to go. Yes. Too, Mr. Atterbury. Like this one, Colonel. Oh, don't come any closer. I warn you, don't come any closer. Hey, what? Hey, hey. Get that crate out of here. They'll be coming in on runway 16 in about three minutes. Keep your wagons handy.
Well, at least we're over land. Stand by on all your gadgets. I'm not sure we'll make the field. We've had it. Give me full flaps and wheels. We're gonna land short of the runway. Red two to billboard, passing through 2,000 feet. I can't stay with him any longer. Okay, get out of there. Climb, full power. Heading, 240, and stand by. Red two, Roger, and I hope he makes it. Move those wagons, he's gonna be short. Switch to tower and come in. Red two, Roger. Gee, I hope no one's hurt. Jin. Sign the transfer form for the Langham Field payroll, sir? Sorry, I can't do it. Uh, well, well, what do you mean? We were robbed. Now, take it easy, Captain. We got the serial numbers. We'll print up some more. Don't be so materialistic. Life's too short. What's money now? Take me, for instance. You see, you, Colonel. Thanks. 